Hey everybody, how you doing? This is Doug, and in this video, I wanna show you some of the basic configuration for data views in Customer Journey Analytics. Now, if you're brand new to Customer Journey Analytics and you're kinda of wondering what data views are, you can really just turn to that term and, and think that it is the view into your data. It is the configuration of the data that you're gonna be analyzing in Customer Journey Analytics projects. Now, when you create a data view, you'll see in a minute that we'll already have to have created or configured a connection. So there's other videos that'll talk about connections, but basically you're gonna to need to connect to the data sources in the platform and make those available to Customer Journey Analytics through a connection. And then in data views, you'll see here in a second that we will point at a connection that we will then configure through the data view. Now, if you're used to Adobe Analytics, you can kind of think of a data view as similar to a virtual report suite. And you'll see that some of the settings that we'll see in the data views here will be the same settings that you see when you configure a virtual report suite in Adobe Analytics. But there is oh so much more. <laughs> so let's dive right in. Now, obviously we're going to create a new data view here because we don't have any in our list. So let me go ahead and click on that. And right out of the gate, we're gonna to need to select a connection. So again, you are going to have to have created connections to your data sources in platform. And I'm gonna select this pre-zero Luma connection here. Then we just name it. And you can add a description. And then you'll want to choose your time zone that the times in your project will represent. So I think I'm gonna go up here and I'm gonna choose mountain time. And then the last thing on the page down here is really cool, and that is being able to rename these three containers. So you can see we have a person container, a session container, and an event container. Now again, if you're familiar with Adobe Analytics, then you can think of these as visitor, and visit, and hit. So if those are the terms that you're used to and you wanna keep those, then of course you can add those and just change person to visitor, and change session, to visit and change event to hit. But keep in mind that one of the reasons that we're using these terms instead of staying with visitor and visit and hit is because we're talking about more than just web data. This could be any other data type that you bring into platform and into customer journey analytics, like call center data or point of sale data or survey data or any other kind of data that you're bringing in to do this analysis. So keep that in mind when you're naming these. But in any case, when you're looking at the metrics or you're creating a new calculated metric or you're creating a new filter, which is basically like a segment, then you're gonna see these terms for those containers, et cetera. So anyway, just set those to the terms that make the most sense to you and your analysts. Then we just go up and hit save and continue. Now there's a lot of stuff to configure on this screen. And so we're gonna take other videos to get deeper into this screen and the different options. But for the moment, I'm just gonna add all of the different components to the metrics and dimensions. We'll talk more about that in another video. We'll leave all the default settings for those components and then I'll hit save and continue. And then two last settings before we save and finish is being able to add a filter so again, if you think of a virtual report suite where you don't have to have access to all of the data, you can just have access to a portion of the data. You can drop that filter in there and you can see I haven't created any yet here, but they would be listed here and you could drop them there or you'd have this drop down to select one as well. And that would limit the data that would be even available at all in this data view. Again, very much like a virtual report suite. And then lastly, our session settings. So a normal session or visit timeout is 30 minutes, as you can see here, but you can also change that. You can change that to a certain number of hours, days, or weeks even. Kind of crazy, right? But you can because, once again, remember this is more than just web data. This could be other kinds of data that would make sense to have longer session timeouts. And then, as you can see below, you can also start a new session with a metric or in other words, with an event, right? So when something happens, for example, on your site or in another data set, when you see a certain metric or event happen, then start a new session. Anyway, after that, it's just save and finish, and then you'll be able to go in and create new projects, selecting our new data view, just like you would normally select a report suite in Analysis Workspace. Hope that was helpful. 
Good luck.